So a few weeks ago, I made a video comparing Google Cybersecurity Professional Certification with CompTIA Security Plus, and after a lot of analysis, I came to the conclusion that Google's program is actually objectively better than CompTIA Security Plus, and I kind of let that opinion be known in the video, and it kind of pissed off a lot of people in the comment section. Like, a few people, like, actually insulted me. Sorry, guys. Um, not this comment. This comment is, like, okay, but... Um, I just kind of wanted to talk about that a bit more and explain my thoughts behind it in this video. And before we get started, as usual, I'll be doing another $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. So if you want to enter a chance to win that, just like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with the word cyber in it. Also, in the top comment and description, I'll put a link to over a thousand CompTIA Security Plus practice questions, as well as a link to the Google Cybersecurity Professional Program. So just to be clear, uh, I'm not saying Security Plus is bad or that you shouldn't get it. In fact, if you get both of them, it's potentially cheaper than just getting Security Plus alone, because after you finish the Google Cybersecurity Cert, you get a 30% off coupon for Security Plus, making like them both together potentially cheaper than just Security Plus. So I just want to share my thoughts and kind of maybe help the way people think about certification in general with this. So to help portray what's going on inside my brain and kind of explain the way I'm thinking, I'm going to do this with a, a simple analogy. So imagine two different driving schools where you can go to learn how to drive a car. There's Megacorp Driving Academy, and then there's Aunt Jane's Driving School. So Megacorp Driving Academy was founded in 1982. It's a really huge name, and it's known by everybody, and it costs $392 to go through the school. Aunt Jane's Driving School was founded in May of 2023. It's like a brand new startup, and it only costs $49 to go through the whole school. After graduating Megacorp Driving Academy, you can expect to have some theory for driving fundamentals, road rules, and then basic automobile care. Whereas if you graduate from Aunt Jane's driving school, you'll have the same things as if you went to Megacorp, but in addition, you'll have some theory about emergency situation preparedness, some insurance basics, and you'll learn some first aid. And then you'll also have a practical component where you actually drive a car, you actually practice some first aid, and then you actually practice some basic vehicle maintenance. And if you look at this, the only thing that Megacorp has over Aunt Jane's driving school is name value. It's just been around longer and more people know about it. Aunt Jane's driving school is objectively better in every single way and it costs like one eighth the cost of the Megacorp Driving Academy. This is really obvious but if you haven't figured it out already the Megacorp Driving Academy is CompTIA Security Plus and then Aunt Jane's Driving School is the Google Cybersecurity Program. The price is like literally the same on both of these examples as well. It's definitely true that Security Plus has name value, it has arguably maybe the best name value for entry-level certifications but if you look at everything that the cert actually actually covers inside of it, it doesn't really offer that much in terms of the 12 pillars of employment. Security Plus does provide you with some technical knowledge, some cybersecurity theory, and it does provide a nice cert to go on your resume, which helps for the ATS and keyword matching. These things are good, but obviously it's not enough. Otherwise, there wouldn't be threads all over the place of people not being able to get a job with just Security Plus. Obviously, these two things are not enough. However, the entire Security Plus objectives is basically a subset of the Google Cybersecurity course curriculum. That is, Google's course has everything that Security Plus has and a whole hands-on section of Python on how Python is used in cybersecurity, as well as a bunch of other components like logging into VMs and doing stuff in virtual machines and querying SIMs and looking up logs and this type of thing. Not to mention the Google program addresses things like interviewing your resume, they give you a resume template and personal portfolio. It addresses so much more from both a technical standpoint and the actual job hunt execution portion of your journey. And Security Plus just doesn't have any of this, yet it costs eight times more, and for what exactly? Name value, I guess. People always make this argument like, yeah, but you need Security Plus, look at all these job requirements for it, but I'll tell you right now, like private sector job requirements are quite literally made up. They don't know what to put, so they just put what everybody else is putting. For defense and like defense contracting, it's like a bit of a different story. There's like this thing called DOD 8150 and DOD 8570, where they can require certain certifications in which case like you know security plus is a requirement for those but basic normal jobs it's it's not really a requirement there are no requirements like companies can just do whatever they want right and honestly if you look at these two resumes one with security plus and one that doesn't have security plus but a bunch of other stuff like honestly like which one of these people would you rather hire 
Obviously, I'm not trying to say people at Security Plus have a bad resume. I'm just trying to drive the point home that more things matter than just getting Security Plus or any single certification. And the Google program tends to address more of those areas than CompTIA Security Plus does. So if person A did everything there was to do in the Security Plus curriculum, and then person B did everything there was to do in the Google Cybersecurity curriculum, in the end, person B would have more money, more knowledge, a better resume, a better portfolio, and they'd be better prepared to interview solely based on the curriculum of these two programs. That's just the fact. You can just go and look at the objectives. And I will say doing both of these is good. If you want to get Security Plus, I do recommend getting the Google Cybersecurity Cert first. Try to finish it fast and get the discount voucher. Use that to get CompTIA Security Plus. You'll just save more money like overall by getting both of the certs. And then you'll have two cool things on your resume and then you know, everyone will be happy. And then finally, since we got to the end of the video, I will say both of these certs pair really, really well with my cybersecurity program because my program is super heavy into practicality and experience and actually like doing things in a live environment. And it really rounds off everything quite well with your resume. A lot of people have gotten jobs with this and there's a lot of testimonials and it just works really well. But anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And let me know in the comment section if you're mad about anything I said in this video. Bye bye.